Hey guys, this is uh, Coach Bobby. Uh, it's Tuesday. Just left boot camp uh, with you guys today. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about uh, my pride for you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Uh, one thing I've noticed uh, is that a lot of you have come a long way. A lot of you are, are asking the right questions, doing the right things, and it excites me. It makes me proud to be your coach. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the next steps. So. A lot of you have been coming to me for a while, have been training for a while, and have asked me uh, the same question in a number of different ways. Uh, one boot camper asked the question today about you know, what it takes to get out of bed uh, every day, uh, what keeps you motivated and inspired, and those are great questions because that shows me that we're at the next level of evolution in our training. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, what I think is the secret, the secret to uh, get into that next level of fitness. Um, and to me, it's no different than the simple laws of the universe. And the universe uh, is very is very complex, but it's also very simple. And if we understand that, uh, our fitness is no different than any other thing that we have in our lives. And when you when you look at a goal, when you look at something you want to achieve in life, uh, that is of significance or of importance uh, it takes time it takes time and patience whether that is trying to get a college degree whether it's trying to uh, get a career going get a promotion uh, make a lot of money buy a nice house uh, whether it's trying to build a relationship with someone a good one at least uh, and whether it's trying to build um, and uh, accomplish that physique that you long for, those things take patience. And you guys have proven to me that you have most of the ingredients. You have the ability to get out of bed. You have the ability to work as hard as I've ever seen. And when I say that, I mean it. I give you guys a hard time about not working hard, but the truth of the matter is you guys work your butts off. You guys not only do, for the most part, what I tell you to do, um, and you, you do workouts uh, again that I do and, I, and I've told you guys a million times that uh, I don't have you guys do anything that I won't do so you guys do the same workouts that I do so that's that's the first thing you guys work your butts off but more importantly and, and what makes it more difficult and more impressive is that you guys do what I tell you to do when I tell you to do it now when I when I work out I have the benefit of knowing uh, at least a minute in advance what I'm gonna work on oftentimes I give you guys something to do and it's a shock to your system and that's why it's called muscle confusion but that makes it tremendously difficult to do my workouts to do our workouts and that's very impressive so you have the ingredients you have the ability to get out of bed you have the ability to push yourself and once you've done it once you know you can do it and you guys many of you have done it dozens hundreds of times with me so you have the ability to do it now the next step in your evolution is to understand the patience that's involved understand the commitment and stop allowing yourself to give up now it's no different if you plant a tree or a plant and you water it and you take care of it and all of a sudden you stop working on it that plants gonna die in the ground same is true for a relationship. If you, if you find yourself in a relationship and you're building it and it's not going along as fast as possible and all of a sudden you stop calling the person or stop loving the person or doing the small things, that relationship will die. Whether it's with a loved one, uh, a, a child, uh, whether it's with a potential uh, husband or wife, you must continue and be patient. And it's the same thing applies to your fitness. Every time you stop, every time you give up, every time you take a week off, or, or two weeks off uh, for whatever reason and a lot of them are legitimate the process stops and you have to start over again because that's not how it works it's a relationship and you have to continue to nurture it and many of you have have understood that uh, many of you are still kind of struggling with that and so the the next step in the evolution is to is to realize that okay it's a long process it's a long process that many times won't be easy and to understand that it's going to take patience it's going to take resolve and most importantly a commitment a commitment to the end result 
you know, it's, it's the same reason why, and I said it in class today, why the divorce rate is so high because we all want to enjoy uh, or, or do the work when it's enjoyable. We want to, you know, date the person and love the person when it's fun. But when it gets a little bit difficult, you know, half of our society bails and leaves. And the same is true in fitness. In the very beginning of any fitness program, when we have our what I call fitness seizures, it's easy to be motivated. It's easy when you see that group on and, you, and you're motivated to, to get into that dress that you want to get into for that reunion. It's motivated. And you go out and you buy your new shoes and your new outfits and you're motivated for about a week. But then reality sets in and you realize that it's a hard process, that you didn't lose 20 pounds in one week. So all of a sudden you realize that it's work. Just like you realize when you marry somebody you love that it won't always be fun. When you realize that you have a son or daughter uh, that it's not always going to be pleasant and enjoyable, that there's some work involved. That you realize when you're in school that, you know, working toward that, that degree in medicine or biology or economics uh, requires sometimes when you have to stay up all night studying. Those things are hard and too often we give up. Too often in life we drop out, we give up, we, we leave the relationship, we drop out of school, we stop studying hard because it's too hard. And those who are able to fight through those times are the ones who make it. And those who understand that it's going to be hard, but that if we fight through it, there will be times when we enjoy it again. That's what separates champions from average people. You know, champions understand that practice is not always going to be fun, but they understand that championships and, and wearing a belt and wearing a championship ring and having your names on the all-conference or all-state list, it's worth it. You know, people who do well in school don't enjoy studying. What they enjoy is having their name on the honor roll. You know, people who, who work out and continue uh, their fitness programs and are committed uh, and dedicated to getting out of bed, even when they don't want to, are the ones that understand that it's hard, but that being able to walk on the beach with your shirt off or, or fit into those jeans is worth it. So I want you guys to continue pushing, continue to work, and when it's hard, when it's difficult, find the motivation somewhere, you know, through music, through friends, uh, through blogs, through websites, you know, fi find a way to, to fight through those times when it's hard and continue to water uh, the seeds that you've planted because first of all, if you stop doing it, it's going to die and you must start over again. But secondly, and more importantly, if you continue to water those seeds, uh, the fruit that it will bear will be worth it. So I encourage you to keep pushing. I'm proud of you guys. Uh, I know you have it in you. I've seen it in you. Uh, just continue to push and continue to, to, to drive and strive to, to be better every day. And, and every dream, everything you dreamed of, everything you want uh, will come to fruition. Okay, until next time, uh, this is Coach Bobby. Uh, I wish you all the best. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys soon.